Peace, power, and protection, my beautiful, beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to First Eye Visions. My name is Q, and I am here to do your short video. <laughs> I attempted to do that the other day, and that short video turned into a two-hour video. So we're going to go ahead and try again. Just to get straight to the point, I know a lot of people um, appreciate shorter readings just like they appreciate the deep dive. So I do want to cater to those of you who have a shorter attention span. Um, I want to welcome any of you that may be new. My name is Q. I channel messages intuitively. I am an empath. I'm clairaudient. So during my readings, you will hear me playing music and the way that it works, the name of the song, lyrics within the song, maybe even the artist's name, timestamp on the clock. It will all correlate to what I may be channeling intuitively as well as what the cards will be showing. And it all blends beautifully so my spiel here is eat the fish spit out the bones if the reading doesn't apply just let it fly by know that you're more than just your sun sign so check your moon check your venus your mercury your mars check your other placements for a more clear and concise message for you uh to all of my beloveds that are returning you already know what it is love is love is love is love is love i gave y'all some extra love because i love y'all that much i want to say thank you to those of you who have been booking consultations who have also been patronizing my Etsy shop I truly appreciate you all I will be uploading a testimonial video I'm still working on it um, it's in the editing process but I do want to um, you know give some shine some light to those of you who have already booked and just also show uh, that you all have been pleased with the accuracy of your readings so that if there's others who wish to uh, book a consultation they can see those testimonies and have those reviews to refer to so um, my readings are also timeless so whenever this video is popped up in your feed that was divine timing and in divine order that you've done so beloved so without further ado we're going to dive right in to your reading ashe so let's go ahead do some house cleaning and then we shall proceed with the read ashe I call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit. Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother Gaia, universe, source, the divine, most high God, our creator, to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala. Mama Oya and Baba Ogun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards, help me to pick up on the energy, number synchronicity, and vibrations of my cards. And so it is, so mote it be. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. Yo! So it is currently 325, so that makes it 10. 325 on the clock. And we have playing on the playlist. I had it set up, but it timed out. So what we have playing on the playlist right now is we have Roger. Um, I want to be your man. So uh, someone could be dealing with someone named Roger that is uh, wanting to be your man. If this is a, a, a you know same sex situation so be it but there's someone that wants to be your man or maybe some of you all are dealing with roger i know like that's a term because i'm hearing roger 10 4 roger roger so maybe this is like saying that um maybe you're picking up on something intuitively or telepathically that someone's coming in this is someone that has uh some sort of um some sort of a deep emotions. I'm getting someone that has these emotions, these feelings, and they're coming to some sort of, you know, realization that they want to take things to the next level or they want to be, um, they just want the relationship to be exclusive. 
Some of you could be dealing with someone named Roger. That's what I'm getting from this. All right, let me turn that down before I get a strike. So let's get the um, numerology deck and see what we got coming in, going out, going on for my beloved Scorpios. So what we have on the bottom of the deck, we have 78, and that's spiritual career. So some of you all could be embarking upon a spiritual career. Maybe you'll meet this person whilst uh, working or pursuing this per particular career. I see perseverance. So six and four um, is definitely showing me that you're grinding, you know, when it comes to business, when it comes to some sort of business or entrepreneurship, like you're grinding, you're working very hard. You're defying the odds. And I do feel like you will be emotionally fulfilled and elated when things um you know, when everything is said and done, it's like you're going to see the fruits of your labor because this 78 reduces to 15, that's six, and this four is 10. So I do feel like you're coming out of a difficult time uh, where you've been just working hard, grinding, keeping poop boots to the ground. Like, I don't see any fun. I don't see you socializing. I don't see you, you know, doing the things that you really want to do. I see you doing what you have to do. So that you can live the life you desire to live. But I see like there's definitely um, some fresh start here. Something beautiful is unfolding, I feel. And, and you can see where you've worked hard. This is 44. So your hard work is, is, is definitely assuring some sort of wish fulfillment or some sort of positive outcome. Some good news is coming in. And it has a lot to do with what you have done. Like you wasn't just sitting around twiddling your thumbs or watching other people work. Like you was very physical. And I'm hearing that song. Let's get physical, physical. I want to get physical. Let's get it. The, uh, uh. I don't know why I'm hearing that, but I was hearing that. And I, I guess that's because you've been really working. This is 444. So your angels are answering a prayer. You're getting a miracle because the 67 breaks down to 13. This is 44. This is already in your environment. You don't even realize it. Maybe this person that wants to be your man is someone you're familiar with. And I do feel like this person has taken a lot of time to work on themselves. Like they've healed their inner child, healed from past wounds and traumas. Now they have this emotional uh, intelligence that they've been able to obtain because of some sort of, uh, you know, ending that they've experienced in the past. And they did the necessary work by healing at a soul level. I feel like their angels are definitely, or your angels are aligning you with someone with, I want to be your man. Like this is someone definitely coming in intentional, coming in sure. This is like someone confident even. I cut my deck three times for those who are like, what is she doing? And we have love partnership. I can't make this up. And remember we have... Roger, I want to be your man playing. So with this 26, somebody is coming in. This 26 is giving me like the eight of cups. So this is like new love is coming in. That eight is also saying it's like a wish fulfillment in love. That's also like positive movements forward. You know, with this love partnership, maybe some of you all have left a situation behind uh, because you felt unfulfilled, because you felt confused, or you felt like you were, you know, kind of like being juggled, being treated like, an option and maybe you walked away from a situation maybe someone is rushing in towards you that is going to show you um their interest they're going to be intentional as i said with this 55 it says adventure i feel like this person is going to take you on a ride the ride of your life like this is going to be someone very spontaneous very fun loving um just someone who just likes to take risks, someone very daring, someone that's going to pull you out of your uh, comfort zone. Like they're going to take you out of your comfort zone with this eight and nine. I just get a sense of like wish fulfillment, blessings, happiness, joy. I do feel like something's coming in quickly. You know, this is like a star. This is a wish fulfillment. And with this love partnership, along with this adventure, this fives, Double numbers always give me the sense that you're attracting someone that's on your frequency. So with five, that speaks to two people who have matured, grown, learned, who has also discovered what their purpose, passion, missions, you know, are. They've been like, this is like a, a energy of like building your wealth of knowledge, scholarly energy, 
uh, building your skill set, even honing skills and, and, and mastering your craft, sharpening your sword. Whoever this is, they're matching your energy in that regard. I feel like because you've taken the time to learn, it's like now you're seeking out adventure. And whomever this is that's rushing in is going to feel like a wish fulfillment in that regard. Who is our beloved Scorpios attracting to them? Who or what is our beloved Scorpios attracting to them? Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection. And we have Stephanie Mills. And this is called What You're Going to Do With My Lovin'. And this was um, made in 1979. So that's another eight. That's another eight. 1979 reduces to eight. So this is a wish fulfillment. What you're going to do with my loving? Like this is someone, you could be dealing with someone named Stephanie or Mills. We got rebirth. So for some of you all, this is uh, someone that's gone through some sort of transformation. There's communication coming in. How they feel about you is they definitely are trying to communicate with you telepathically. Or they've recently had some sort of epiphany, a grand epiphany. And this is what's encouraging them to take action you know, to speak to you, to say how they feel. With the seven and the six, that's 13. So I do feel like there was, maybe this is someone, you know, that is going through some sort of major transformation. There's double eights on the bottom. We're about to pull for how they feel. I mean, what's hidden in the energy. But with this rebirth, it could even mean like someone's wanting um, another shot, you know, someone's wanting another st shot. Maybe this is someone who's definitely been through some major change recently, enormous change. And they're now looking at things differently, looking at life differently. The 16 breaks down to seven, which is like them growing personally because that's the crown chakra. So I do feel like someone has learned uh, valuable lessons with this eight and the seven. That's 15. That's six. That's the same number we started the uh, reading out with. So that eight and that seven, 15, that's six. So this is definitely someone, you know, who's uh, using discernment and discernment because this eight and seven. So this is six, six, that's 12, that's three. This person sees you as an empress, a goddess or an emperor, a god, a king, a queen. It's like you, you bring joy, happiness, peace. This is like, you know, this is an energy of someone that's recently had some sort of epiphany. And six is a six reduces to 12 and that's the hangman. So I think that's why this epiphany is happening or occurring because it's like they've taken the necessary time to like look at you or look at the situation from a different lens. And we got this eight, eight. So that's like abundance. This has shown up several times in Scorpio's reading. So I do feel like this person may see you as a wish fulfillment. They're realizing that you're a wish fulfillment, that you bring a lot of joy. You bring happiness. It's like your your energy is light, it's pure, it's fun loving. It's like you're caring, you're you're considerate. And they see you as very strong. I feel they're also mustering up the strength to come towards you. This person is definitely mirroring you in a lot in a lot of ways. I feel like you have some something rushing in. This eight eight reduces to sixteen, which is seven. So that seven is also showing like the chariot. So this person is rushing in. The train is going by. So that does mean that there's like some distance perhaps, or there's some traveling that's um, going to take place perhaps in the month of August. Eight, eight is the lion's gate. So maybe during the lion's gate, this may occur. That's a very powerful time to manifest as well. It's also a time where karma, you know, karmic debts are paid off. Uh, you know, you, 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 you have to ensure that your karmic debts are paid off by that time, but that's the lion's gate. And we are still in the 777 portal. So, you know, on the 16th, that will be the second time, you know, that, that powerful 777 energy, um, you know, resonates. And then again on 725. So we got 777 three times this month, but with this 88, something is absolutely uh, going to bring a lot of joy, happiness, emotional fulfillment. This could be you just merely, not even merely, but you pursuing uh, your spiritual, spiritual career, 
you pursuing something you're very passionate about and you love this this is a two pink cards so i feel like this is something that you absolutely love and i feel like that's why you're getting abundance you're getting uh plenty so what's hidden in the energy for my beloved scorpios let me get a message of peace power and protection and we have uh stephanie mills still singing um oh this is now never knew love like this before so what was i saying because that was an eight um that was eight eight so that was like star the eights always give me the star but this is like you know with this karmic completion you have new um you know new opportunities that are presenting themselves it's like the doors to personal healing and happiness are opening the doors to value the door to romance they're all opening because you've just completed a cycle and it's like with Stephanie Mills, this is the second time this came out. So maybe this is someone that's coming around for the second time. Maybe this is someone you're familiar with because we did see that 4-4 environment, which lets me know that you've like planted seeds and roots with someone or you have some sort of history. You could have even met this person at your place of employment. Maybe you knew this person um, from just, you know, your everyday walk of life, like maybe in your community, maybe at a local grocery store, gym that you may frequent. But this is like someone you've met in passing um, several times with never knew love like this. I feel like this is going to be the absolute first time that your heart will flutter. It's like everything that you've asked for, this person will embody you know they will be that and vice versa you'll have an abundance you know of everything so it's like you're emotionally fulfilled emotionally satisfied so what what's hidden in the energy all right that's too many cards and we got seven seven spirituality here on the bottom of the deck so you are attracting someone that's a like mind someone that's made in your likeness a alike be alike so we're going to put these cards back in and I just want to um, expound. So we have 74 nature. So this is definitely someone you will have a very natural connection with, bond. It'll be, things will happen very organically, so to speak. That 74 breaks down to 11. That's one half of 11, 11. So this will feel like a soulmate or someone you could give to equally. Both of you have healed because that 11 is 1, 1, which is also a double number. So it does show that you both have taken the necessary time to heal. With the 71 health, I feel someone is like really up in their head struggle, you know, stressing over a situation um and it's causing them a lot of anxiety perhaps this is also saying that you know someone is getting stronger um health wise if someone was struggling um with some sort of ailment or some sort of disease or some sort of sickness it's like you're getting stronger um, get out in nature as much as you can get some of that raw before the sun starts beating down on you But get out by the trees get out by the lakes the waters and just let the natural um, Resources, you know, let mother nature um, Heal you, you know get out in that raw the 61 self-love shows That's how you have grown the person you're attracting or what you're attracting. This is literally, you know, the same card intertwined. So the 61 and 16, the same colors are, uh, you know, on both cards. So on the outside here is blue. On the inside of this symbol is blue. On the inside of this symbol is orange. On the outside of this symbol is um orange and part of me that's red so it's like you you're mirroring someone there's a sense of you mirroring another person them mirroring you and you can see why because you're teaching someone they're learning from you vice versa you could be learning from another person this is also someone with that 12 that i was getting with this 26 16 and 33 that breaks down to 12 so this is someone like looking at things from a different perspective a different vantage point and now they're seeing your worth and value and they're wanting to follow their dreams. They're coming towards you. You know, this is someone that realizes you're their wish fulfillment. This 85 breaks down to 13. So that is that same person that's going through that rebirth, going through some major transformation. But they've also had a death of an ego or a death of an old way of thinking. Uh, old belief systems have its ideologies uh, and they're going to pursue their dreams. Even if this isn't a person per se, this could be someone pursuing their dream, dreams, period. 
started, like going after something that they've, you know, um, always been passionate about, something that just feels very natural, very organic. Um, it's like home. There's 22 intuition. That's a double number. So you and this person are both equally in tune, tapped into the frequency. And that just makes me feel like you both can uh, pick up on one another's energy. Hence the seven, seven spirituality. That's the crown. I do feel that is the way someone communicates because that seven, seven breaks down to 14, which is five, five deals with the throat chakra. So I do get a sense of like there being a lot of communication, communication telepathically or intuitively, or even via your dreams. You could be having lucid dreams, trust your intuition, especially when it comes to matters of the heart, 99 compassion, again, another double number. So this is about not judging others, but also showing forgiveness to those from your past. We have 66 healing, another card. So didn't I say that you and the person you're attracting have both been through a lot that you've had to heal from past pains and traumas in order to now show up in a new partnership, a new love ship, you know, as uh, your authentic selves, your better versions of yourselves. So that's why the seven, seven, this is a spiritual bond, spiritual connection. This could lead to marriage because that, uh, that 14 breaks down to five and five deals with the hierophant which could also deal with, um, you know, uh, marriage institution. So let's tap in. So what's hidden in the energy for my beloved Scorpios? Let me get a message of what's hidden for my beloved Scorpio spirit. Bottom of the deck. So we have 19 pride. Didn't I say someone is having an ego death because they've had that time. You know, when you're sitting in hermit, uh, in, in this hangman, it's like spirit puts you in a sacrificial position so that you can look at not only your own behavior, your own actions in awareness, you know, reflecting and introspecting, but you could also look at other people in the cipher, other people that you are dealing with and you can see you know, errors in your ways. You can see what you can improve. So it's almost like this is where someone is finally making a change. They're turning things around and they're realizing like, okay, I, I, I got to um, kill the ego. I got to, you know, um, stop being so uh, stubborn or hard headed or stop resisting or stop uh, suppressing something that they feel because this three and this one breaks down to four. So this is someone who's been hiding, you know, the fact that they love you because that four deals with the heart chakra. The four is also associated with the uh, emperor. And remember earlier we had, um, I want to be your man by Roger. And so right now we have Morris Day in the time. This is called jungle love. So, you know, I feel like with time, because I'm getting, you know, someone's name could be Morris first, middle or last. Uh, but I also get with time, uh, everything is happening in divine timing. Um, I also feel like someone's been holding on to this connection. Um, even though they were resisting it, it's like they always kept a special place in their heart, but their pride wouldn't allow for them to reach out, wouldn't allow for them to emote or express what they felt. What we have on the bottom of the deck, 46 domestic harmony so it's possible that someone could have been in a relationship or in some sort of entanglement and that's the reason why um maybe their pride is you know what what they are finally listening to because this is both tens so someone is finally letting go of the pride and they're leaving a situation behind it seems like because that 46 uh this is saying that whatever harmony because that says domestic harmony um so i feel like there's no harmony there's no peace uh there's no balance wherever they are um and they feel the best thing is to leave you know because that 46 breaks down to one so every ending denotes a new beginning so I feel like someone is taking um, action to start over, you know, to start a fresh anew. We got six here. So that's that one in six right here. Remember, this is what you're attracting, one in six. So that's that person going through some sort of death, going through some sort of transition um, in love, in life, you know. And, and they are uh, definitely coming your way because they do feel like there is some sort of like kindred spirit like you you both are kindred spirits or soulmates like you're the yin to their yang the six deals with the lovers six is also the first die so they are trusting their intuition and remember what i said about them communicating this blue card definitely is indicating that there's like communication uh being sent 
telepathically, intuitively. Someone may be living in another person's mind, you know, living in someone's head, rent free, um, running, just running, you know, um, running around in their head the six and this 46 that's one that's seven so that's the crown so i just get a lot of thoughts someone like ruminating pining overthinking analyzing daydreaming dreaming at night waking up at coast it's like this is someone constantly that has someone on their mind desiring to communicate these are both blue cards then this is someone that wants to express that they love you because that's green on the inside of this symbol here i don't know if you can see that the colors are kind of jacked up, but there's green on the inside of the symbol, which means someone is listening to their heart. So what is the outcome for my beloved Scorpios with jungle love? You know, like this is like I, I, I just I'm, I'm hearing crazy, you know, crazy love. This is OK. So that card is sticking out. I'm going to take it. And we have physical activity. They're ready to take action. This is someone that's ready to put in the work. That 67 showed up earlier. So that 13 breaks down to four. So this is someone that's definitely, look at that. And they're coming in to love you right. I feel like this person is ready to love as well. I heard they're coming in, they're rushing in. This is someone like literally rushing in because they've built up the confidence. They've mustered up the strength, the courage, you know, the wise dome. And they're going to be assertive. They're going to express how they feel. And I feel when this person comes in, you're going to feel this is your wish fulfillment. And they will also feel that you are theirs, you know. So that's that's what we have on the bottom of the deck. Someone is finally surrendering to love. Remember, I was getting a sense of someone like being egoic, you know, stubborn, thick headed, trying to deny only to discover denial is a river. But let's tap in. So let's clarify these messages. I'm going to use my um, I'm going to use my Egyptian gods. So let's see what we have in the bottom of the deck. So it says creation. So this is definitely like, you know, with the overall energy, I do get a sense of like you all being very much um, in that divine feminine, divine masculine energy, uh, because the empress and the emperor are creatives. They birth new styles and ways of thinking. They also give birth to life. Um, they're bosses, they're entrepreneurs, they're leaders. They turn thoughts into reality. And this is Amun Ra. And this number two. So that's like that deals with the high priestess. So it's like trust your intuition. I also feel you're very balanced. What we have on the split is we have protection. So you are definitely protected. So you're you're like. I feel like spirit is protecting you because you have gifts, you know, that you are to share. I feel like you're a vessel. I feel like you've been used as a vessel. Um these gifts that you have, maybe you're ordained, you're chosen, but there's something that you are called to do, which is why you are divinely protected. So divine spirit of peace, power, and protection. What messages do you have for my beloved Scorpios? I'm going to clarify these messages and then we're going to wrap it up. So a couple of cards chose themselves and we have resentment. Someone resents you for, you know, this new love ship that you're uh, embarking on. There's going to be feelings of resentment. And this could be a karmic because that's the number eight. There's a karmic set that's going to resent you. You have hope. So I feel like you, by you remaining hopeful, that's why you have a positive outcome. That's why this love is coming in because you've prayed for it. You've asked for it. I was saying that there was like a wish fulfillment. Eight is always like showing me that there's, you know, a wish fulfillment. This is based upon the seeds you've sown in the past, your good faith. Your optimism, your positive attitude, and spirit is going to shower you with blessings, rewards, recognition. We have um, meditation here, and this is the number 10. So someone's definitely trying to uh, figure out their best approach, how to take action. Because remember that seven associated with the chariot. So it's like, yes, they're, they're meditating, they're finding that balance, because that's really what the chariot is all about. You have to be balanced before you can move the chariot. So someone is finally in harmony or in equilibrium, and it's because they've taken the necessary time to get back to one and to go within to see how they feel. What we have on the bottom of the deck is still resentment. So someone resents not communicating. Someone resents that you've kind of blocked them. And maybe you sense that. That's why you don't communicate. Yep, because right underneath that is protection. 
So you're protected from someone that has some sort of um, ill intentions towards you. Like this is someone that has some sort of disdain or contempt or malice in their heart because they're carrying around a lot of resentment and animosity. And this is a karmic, you know, because this is the number eight, you know, so I feel like that's a karmic. And perhaps that's why um, you're not communicating or you're not reaching out to anyone. They're also upset because you're exploring your options. You know, maybe this is someone that never felt like you was going to leave, but you left. This 28 is 10. That's done. So let's tap in. So why is this 33 communication here? Your card flew out and understanding. So someone wants to reach out and communicate so that you could reach an understanding, inner standing, omni standing. Like this is someone that really wants to, you know, express their feelings with that number four, express the love that they feel for you. You know, this is someone that finally understands, like because they had that epiphany after sitting in hangman. Now they have reached an understanding and they see your worth, they see your value. This is someone that definitely could be a masculine because that four uh, is the number of the emperor. And remember, we had Roger singing, I want to be your man. What we have now is I want to take you higher. And this is by the best of Sly and the family stone. So this could be someone, you know, that you have had. Um, I feel like you've had some sort of run in with this person, like, you know, this person. You were you I don't believe you were with this person ever like in a relationship. Maybe y'all were friends, associates, colleagues. Maybe you lived in the same community, but somebody's going to express something. And we have six Osiris and this says um, death and rebirth. And remember, we're pulling the card for what's hidden. And remember you what you're attracting to you, who or what is rebirth. And remember that same 19 pride and ego. So someone's having a death of an ego and they're going to, you know, um, regenerate as someone humble, as someone grounded, as someone emotionally intelligent. And this is someone that definitely is trusting their intuition and following their intuition following discernment so what is why is this 19 pride here for my beloved scorpios let me get a message of peace power and protection spirit thank you spirit got two messages there and we have justice see that someone wants justice there's also a truth that's going to be expressed i feel this person watches you also this person watches you and they've had that epiphany there's like a sun on the top of this um on the top of uh Sekhmet's head So there's a son. So someone has had some sort of epiphany. They realize how stubborn, hard-headed, you know, even how immature they were acting or behaving. And we have faith and wisdom. So they've definitely have become wiser. Because remember, we saw that 5-5 five, five, and I was saying that not only have you been learning and, and healing and growing, but whoever you're attracting, they also, they know how to, um, they know they're very self-aware. If you will, this is someone self-aware because we have eight and seven, 15 at six, six and seven. Yeah. This is someone coming in confidently now. Sure. Cause we got 19, which is one then we have 17. So that's nine and then the nine and seven. So that's, uh, it's like that chariot, someone confident, someone asserting themselves. And it's because they, are definitely you know wiser walking in faith also we have transformation didn't i mention someone was going through a transformation going through enormous change and this is that same person because this number 13 deals with transformation someone that put in the work this is the outcome so anubis transformation so someone's definitely been putting in the work and this work is showing that there's you know growth there's also what I feel like someone, um, you know, going to be coming in and expressing how they feel. Uh, there's a change. See that? So this physical activity is blowing in change because this is uh, the number nine. 
and then you have 13. Nine is the highest number in vibration of change. So someone is definitely taking the necessary time to, you know, to really work on themselves. They've put in a lot of hours, like healing, growing, maturing, you know, even healing their inner child, as I said earlier, taking the necessary time to do the work. You know, and this has also, you know, helped them to become more emotionally intelligent because they've worked on their heart chakra. They've had to heal from a lot of past traumas. And if you look here, there's another sun. So it's like things have been revealed to them. You know, it's like they were able to see the errors in their ways, the mistakes that they've made. And we have on the bottom of the deck, we have darkness. So I do feel like with that darkness, and this is number 34, and that reduces to seven. I do feel like, you know, be mindful to not get pulled into, you know, some sort of um, low vibrational energy. Like, don't let anyone come back, especially from your past. Because I feel like you've come out of a very dark period, and that 34 reduces to seven. And that seven is just showing me like, you know, that seven deadly sins. So I'm seeing like the devil, the trickster, the manipulator, the gaslighter. That's what you were dealing with. You were dealing with that in your past. That was a part of your karma. And I feel like there was a lot of, you bumped heads with this person because, you know, it says being ordinary. And I feel like you're extraordinary. So it's like, it was almost like you were trying to be regular degular, but you won't, you weren't. And that was when you were in your darkest period, when you weren't being your authentic self. But when you started to brave your light and confront your fears, this is when you persevered. So you've persevered through something. And through that, that's where the fruitfulness comes in. The fruitfulness comes in when you start to tap into your divinity as a divine feminine and masculine and begin creating. Because that's, your, that's what you're here to do. And look at this, wise don't. So your experiences have taught you uh, many lessons to which you can now share um, in those lessons that you've learned, which is why you have this abundance here. You know, this abundance is really uh, telling you, you know, the reason why, um, the reason why, you know, you're receiving this is because of what you've endured in your past. But I also missed this. So this is another card, you know, kind of like, intertwine 19 and 91 so it's like again mirroring one another's energy whoever you're attracting you know or someone kind of finally getting the point and and just finally uh getting rid of the ego you know let me get one more card to clarify 67 and we have truth and fairness so someone is definitely coming in to communicate and express their true feelings um, and they're looking for things. See that? There's two eyes now. So I do feel this person does watch you. I feel this person definitely wants um, to balance things out in this connection. This is Mama Ma'at. She has everyone's address. So she does bring the balance. And I feel everything will be handled fairly and justly for you. And this is the 13. So that's the rebirth, the transformation. So that's another 13 here. So that's like 4-4. Four, four. So your angels, your ancestors are definitely protecting you. And I feel like they're aligning you with someone special. And we have 32. Righteousness. It's because you remain righteous, positive, hopeful, optimistic, that's your message. Thank you so much for tuning and tapping in. Until next time, I send a big fat Asheo. Peace. And if you would like to book a reading, look in the description box below. I'm getting a lot of messages. I have um, updated my description box so that you can access my Etsy shop straight from there. Ashe. So just check the description box and you can book your consultations there. All right. Thank you. Love y'all.